no matter where you're from. <laughs> Hello people, this is Mr. Sword Thumb, and today I thought I was thinking about old stuff. You know, not old, but in the last couple of years we've been gaming, we know things are different. Um, DLC, hard drive, stuff that we take granted back in the days. Uh, back in the days, it was simple. Simple stuff that you didn't realize until now, when I'm thinking, wow, I missed the, you know, these things that really was, as I said before, simple. So, I had lit a lot of things that I was going to say on this video but I list them down to three. Three important things. Three of the most important things that I think we're missing in gaming. So let me tell you what I'm thinking. First off, memory cards. Yes, this one is the PS2 version of the 8 gig um, memory card. Yeah, I remember these things are priceless because um, nowadays we got hard drives then we have to have you know, how much memory we're going to put on and how much storage we're going to put on it. But nowadays, now back in the days um, if you had a good collection of, like, say, 10 um, PS2 um, games, you can actually put how many you can put on this one. Now, you, you see it, as I told you, it's the 8-bit one. The one on my left is the uh, Mega Memory one. I actually, it's a funny story with this one. Um, I was in the city, New York. Um, I stopped at a GameStop, and this was a chance I was just looking around, and I noticed this one glass case they had a lot of Game Boys and all that stuff and in the corner I noticed the memory card I said I need a mem and, um, I'm sorry another memory card so I figured we'll pick this one up I said how much I thought it was gonna be 20 bucks I was gonna walk out but they said hey you know you need ten dollars in fact it's still on the on the side you can see on the ten dollars um, uh, that's, that's how good it is it was ten dollars so I grabbed it and I still miss these things because um, it's kind of hard when you have to store a lot of media and store a lot of games on, like store a lot of games on it. You don't know how much memory is. You know, I know you'd be talented of thousands and thousands. Actually, about three months ago, I actually stole well, all the games I had onto this bad boy, and I'm loving it because I don't have to look around. I don't have to like store, uh, wondering where I put them. Once I put them on there, I can still use these or use that. So that's number one on uh, my little pet peeve of things I miss. Another one I miss in gaming they have to be. Book manuals, and let me give you an example. This is Primal. Kids, remember how sick it was back in the day? Look, it's sick. I can actually read about a page and page of stuff about the characters and how the gameplay is. Do I have to go up? Do I have to go down? I can press O to push stuff. I mean, nowadays you don't get that. And what you get, you get a thin paper, just all. Let's show you how to put the disc in. That's it, or put a code in there. But, you know, now you have to play, when you play actual gameplay, they'll tell you right off the bat, you must jump up with O, you must go down with X, you must press R1 to do it, and they'll show you demo of the game you actually paid, because back then, you just had to read it, you had to really sit down and read it, like, did I do this wrong, did I, did I, oh, press O, did I press X, well, you know, you just, certain things like this I miss, this is really the one I really miss, book manuals, you just, if you still have PS2 or Xbox or anything like that, you know, take care of your, your um, booklet magazine, um, booklet instructions. You never know you ne may need them down the line. Recently, I just played Dark Watch over the summer, and I was like, I forgot. I still have this game. But it's not surprised what in the game or the, on the disc, but what I found here. Boom. Um, the thing I really love is this receipt. Now, this is the actual real McCoy. This is no fake. I didn't even copy it or try to make it a, a point. Um, in fact, I just scribbled on. Didn't know I was scribbling on the same paper. But this is the actual receipt from the actual game I played, Death Watch. Um, let me show you right at the back. First off, you can see I circle stuff, oh, I'm sorry, I circle stuff in. To, so right off the back, first off, this is the game store. This is game, um, actually game zone. Oh, let me see. Oh, sorry, game zone 86. It's still in Brooklyn. It's funny about this um, game store. It, this is my first time in that area. So when I first started my work over there, I didn't know nothing. I was looking around, you know, this is way before they had a GameStop there. But there are good store uh, receipts. So, yeah, this store is still here. It's been pushed up up a street, like, about, about my 15 minutes walk over there. So, I'm I loving it. Second of all, this is the actual game store. Let me do that again. So, this is actual the game store that I pushed. It's the game. This is the actual date. This is 2005, people. Look at that. 2005. That was a long time ago. I thought I sold this game, but surprise, surprise, I didn't. And there are the pushes of the game. Death Watch PS2 right there. But the biggest shot was here. 
if you see it right here, let me show you right here, fifty dollars. Remember back in the days, everything cost fifty bucks. Um, yeah, to see that it was a private little shop because nowadays when you go to the game store, what they what they first thing they try to get you to do, uh, GameStop or they would do they would throw any DLC there. Sixty dollar game will be plus tax plus uh, whatever DLC you come down, it would be like seventy bucks. Or you get the stanchion pack, or you get anything that. You know, like, wow, I just want the game, I don't want that. But to see something like that, it brought brought back good memories. Because back then, you just pay the game 50 bucks. You didn't have to worry about it. No DLC was in the game. You know, in the game, no, no, nothing more and nothing less. Nowadays, um, yeah, they throw every DLC they have to you. So basically, you're, you probably will have to work more, more hours just to lose whatever money you lost. I mean, when you're trying to resell it, I mean, I can resell this game, but if I had resell this game back in to $50, I'd probably get back, what, 45 bucks? 45 or maybe less, but nowadays, when you even $60 games, you get back less when you had before, and this is, this is the, and that's the, once again, I would say this is the actual receipt. Yeah, that's my number three. Yes, number three of things I miss in gaming. These three things I miss is so dear to my heart. You know, memory cards, booklet, instructions, prices, I mean, you can't even get that nowadays. Everything is so expensive. Hell, even the system that you bought is more expensive than you think it is. Yeah, I miss them good old days. So, I thought, I just told you my, my secrets. How about yours? What do you miss back in the days? Meant anything. You, you miss memory cards, controllers, anything that's so simple that you missed and you took for granted. Like, wow, I missed that. It was so simple. And so and so fun. Leave a comment below. I'll get back at you. Sorry, I'm just really tear up when I see these things, and I say, "Wow, good old days." I missed them. So this is Mr. Sword. I'm telling you that I'm keep on gaming. In fact, I'm still gaming over the summer. So yeah, I'm kind of hurting right now. So later.